For today's project, I'm going to be using the larger version of our flat pack frame loom. It's brand new and you can check it out at spruceandlinen.com. Using 8-8 cotton, double warp a total of 12 strings onto your loom. My loom has a weaving length of about 18 inches long. Grab a length of medium weight yarn. I'm using about one arm length and I'm using Lion Brand Woolies. We're going to weave in 10 rows of plain weave. I'm starting about three inches from the bottom of my loom. Just keep in mind that the higher you start on the bottom of your loom, the shorter the actual length of the necklace will be. Weaving something on such a small scale is a really great way to work on getting your edges really straight. It's a lot easier to do this on a small piece. If you ended going under your warp string like I did, I'm just gonna loop this back around one more time. Grab your next color of a medium weight yarn and weave in 10 more rows of plain weave. Once again, if you started on the under like I did, you can loop that end around to create a neater finish. Take one last color of medium weight yarn and you guessed it, weave in 10 more rows of plain weave. Flip your loom around and tuck in all of the ends. Using a small metal needle will make this a lot easier. So you can simply thread up your yarn and then we're going to be tucking it into the other wefts. So I'm just sticking my needle through a few of those, three or four, pulling it through. I'm gonna use my weaving comb to make sure that last row is pushed up tight and then I can just trim off the excess. Next, using a water soluble or regular marker, mark off where you want to cut the piece off the loom. I'm going with about two and three eighths inches. Cut two warp strings off at a time, stopping to do an overhand knot and butting up that knot to the bottom of the weaving. Do that all the way across. And then pull the entire piece off of your loom, not cutting the top loops. Grab something heavy, something that won't attack your yarn. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's better. Set a weight or a book on the weaving and begin two strings at a time making overhand knots like we did on the bottom. Set six warp strings to the right and six warp strings to the left. Grab one of the colors that you use to weave the necklace and we're going to do a wrap knot around here to sort of separate the two sides of our necklace. Create a loop and kind of line it up with the knots that we just created at the top of the weaving. Leave one tail out at the bottom, a short one, and then take the longer length of yarn and start wrapping it around the warp string as well as the loop we created. You don't wanna leave too much of a loop, so if you need to adjust it as you go, you can do that. And I'm just using my left hand here to kind of hold everything in place while I wrap with my right hand. Once you're happy with the length of your wrap, you can cut off a little bit of the excess, fish that tail we just wrapped with through the loop, and pull down on the other tail that we left before. After you've pulled that loop out of sight, you can trim off the excess. And now we can do the same thing on the other side. With the ends, you can either twist them up, you can braid them, do whatever you like the look of best. And now we're ready to add some jewelry hardware. I'm going to twist mine. And once I'm happy with that twist, I'm going to line up all the loops. Grab a jump ring and make sure you catch every loop with the opening of your jump ring. I'm gonna be adding this claw clasp and so I'm gonna just add that to my jump ring right now. Grab another pair of pliers 
and close up the jump ring. And then I can just repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm going to brush out the little tassels at the bottom to make them look a little bit more full. And then I'm just going to do one more little finishing trim at the bottom to make sure everything looks even. Check out this video next to create your own framed landscape tapestry.